One Piece Film Red is an anime movie that I saw in theaters. It's the first anime movie that I saw in theaters, but not necessarily the first foreign film I've seen in theaters. That honor goes to Shin Godzilla that I saw all the way back in 2016. I made a review on that movie, but the video got deleted, and I don't have a backup copy, so I don't think that video will ever see the light of day, but... I mean, that's when I started reviewing movies, I believe. I reviewed Shin Godzilla and Doctor Strange, but then those videos just kind of got deleted. So, I'm gonna try my best not to delete this one, okay? Okay, so back to the movie review. This movie was genuinely good. This is probably one of the best animated movies I have seen in recent memory. The animation is just so beautiful. A lot of the music beats, a lot of the action, it's just so well animated. All the attention to detail and all of the shading, just everything comes together so well to create a visually stunning, beautiful movie. However, just because it looks good doesn't mean it has to necessarily have a good plot, but luckily it does. Now, for those of you who are wondering what are my opinions on One Piece as a whole, I've made an entire video dedicated to that, so this is just going to be a review on this specific One Piece film. But like most One Piece stories, it tells a really great story that isn't Long Ring Island. The story is about the Straw Hats and pretty much the entire world visiting Uta's first live concert. It's revealed that Luffy and Uta were actually childhood friends and have known each other for quite some time, and Luffy wondering whatever happened to Uta since he never saw her again. Uta, on the other hand, has definitely grown over the years. At first, she wanted to be a pirate just like her father, but over time, she definitely grows to resent pirates and definitely wants Luffy to not be a pirate anymore. In fact, that's her plan. She basically wants to create a world of peace without pirates, without villains, without any of that sort of thing. And in order to do that, she basically enslaves an entire group of people. Okay, yep, I guess that's communism for you. What makes One Piece film Red so good is the fact that it plays off like a Greek tragedy. Our main antagonist, Uta, isn't necessarily a villain. She just wants to protect the world from the evils of the world government and pretty much the entire world. However, she goes about it the wrong way. Instead of giving people the free will to choose to be safe, she enslaves them and keeps them in a safe world where there can never be any violence, but at the same time taking away the free will of everybody, including Luffy. Luffy, however, is not the kind of person who gets restraint. He desires freedom and to become the most free man in the world. After all, that's what the title of being the king of the pirates means. But now he has to put up against his childhood friend, a person that he cared about who loved to play with back in the day, but now he has to be up against her because her morals have completely changed and are at odds with his own moral compass. The plot takes its time to develop this tragedy. Most of the story is trying to figure out how to escape the dream world, and there's a lot of world building that goes into the island that Uta currently resides in. It slowly builds into the reveal of the darker history that the island has and the explanation for why Uta was abandoned by by Shanks. It all comes together naturally and organic. It's what makes this story feel so good, the build up, the hype, and eventually the payoff, which it doesn't end in a happy ending. Most One Piece films that I have seen, they always end in a happy ending. Everybody gets what they want, but not this movie. This movie is rather bittersweet. Nobody really seems to win. It's all a loss. It's what makes this One Piece film so different, yet so unique among the other One Piece films. This movie is about tragedy, it's about loss, it's not about good guys fighting the bad guys, it's about good guys trying to fight another good guy who just wants what's best for everyone, but they're going about it the wrong way, and in the end, it ends with a tragedy, it ends with a bittersweet ending that, it's quite sad. And in the end, there are no winners in this story. I'm not gonna spoil what's gonna happen at the end, but let's just say it's incredibly sad. In the end, One Piece Film Red is definitely one of my favorite animated films of the year. The animation is visually stunning and beautiful to look at. The songs are really good and catchy that I'm having a hard time picking a favorite. And of course, the story. A narrative that slowly builds up naturally into a Greek tragedy that's just so emotional yet worth it to watch. If I were to give this movie a rating, I'd give it an 8 star out of 10 rating. Yeah, I've been praising this film, but it's not a perfect movie. There are some flaws within this film, like in the middle, it does kind of drag out. But despite these minor flaws, the movie is still really good that I highly recommend it. Even if you're not watching One Piece, this is definitely a side story that you would definitely want to watch because it's that good. 
A few minor spoilers for the main story, but it's definitely taken out of context, and without the context, you wouldn't know if it's a spoiler or not. So it's safe to say that you can watch this movie whether you're into One Piece or not. It's definitely that good. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, my comrades.